officially on the 18 now. We're here at Winding Steer Gap. I've just started our trek the AT. We have about eight miles today. So it's a little cooler than expected, but the sun's out. It's a beautiful day. Front went through last night. Um, so it should be a great day for hiking. There's Rob hiking away. We're at it. We'll catch up with you along the way. AT moving, hiking. Hey, this is Garrett Vegetera. We are um, up in the Appalachian Mountains and doing the a section of the Appalachian Trails. Um, for those of you not familiar with the Appalachian Trail, it's about a 2200 mile trail that runs from Stringer Mountain, Georgia, all the way up into Maine. The Appalachian Trail is the longest hiking trail in the world, and about two million people a year hike this trail. Um, there are different kind of hikers that are on this. Um, we're actually um, doing section hiking but there are what they call through hikers. Those are the folks who attempt or will walk the whole length of the 2,200 miles from Georgia to Maine or Maine to Georgia with about um, 1,000 people a year doing that and probably about 70% start in the south and head north. You know, it kind of makes sense. It's a little warmer in the spring and you can uh, begin to make your progress and be up in the summer where it's not quite as hot up in the area of Maine. Taking our first break on the first leg, first day, the AT trail. About an hour and a half into it, getting a little hungry. Beautiful day today. It's a little windy, temperature's about right. Great time, look at this. There are about uh, 2,000 species of plants and animals on the trail. Um, the largest of the animals is more bear. All right, about three hours into the hike. It's going pretty good. Uh, luckily, the temperature's holding out. The wind's blowing here. A little bit of chill, but with the walking and the movement, feels great. Um, sun's out, beautiful day, beautiful surroundings. Really great day to be out on the trail. And the forecast looks good, looks good. So we should have a um, good couple of days. Not too far off. We're going to be camping tonight. We need a little break. We just came up a pretty steep hill, sat down, and up the hill it looked like a dog was running kind of across the trail. It turned out to be a bear, a mother bear, and two cubs. Um, we both got to see him, which was super awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera out. We went up. Man, was that cool? That was so awesome. Hopefully, they'll come see him for us at our campsite tonight. And yeah, we walked through mud. Walk through rocks. And more rocks. Here we had some pretty uh, steep hiking up the hill as uh, we're kind of coming to the end of our hike for day one. Downhill. It's like road crossing. So we made it up to camp. We set everything up and of course had fire and there's my dinner and, uh, and set up for the night. Good morning. 
It was uh, a little chilly here at Camp Appalachian Trail. It's, um, I don't know, somewhere around close to 40, maybe 38, 40 degrees. It got pretty chilly last night. You know, uh, stayed pretty warm. I had four layers on, gloves. Did have on some head cover. Here was the lovely combinations. Great camp. Appalachian Trail. Got a little bit of sleep. Um, the wind howled all night, but uh, we made it. So it's morning time. I think, uh, I think the other campers have a fire going, so we'll get up and get moving and see how the day goes. We've been about a uh, little shy of eight miles today. So we're at the camp. There's a couple of campers in our hammocks. Get the fire going this morning. Five cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This area here. And, uh, there's the fire. I had a little bigger fire going last night. It was a little warmer. So everybody's still struggling this morning. But there's another camp back there. This is our camp this morning. Tent with the rain cover. Here's the view this morning. Warmth this morning. Just waiting for that sun to get over the tree line. To bring some warmth. Uh, a few other campers down in there. See the sunlight starting to come in. Hoping for some warmth. We got the water source. Straight out of the ground, coming down to the pipe. Take our chances. <clears throat> Feeling good, but. Give it a shot. Tastes alright. But I'll get sick. We're off. Heading uh, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Hills. Man. The hills aren't so easy. Check out this view of the Nantahala National Forest from the Waya Bald Fire Lookout Tower. Here the elevation is about 5,442 feet uh, and we are sitting atop a 50 foot stone fire tower. What a great view. And here's a picture of the crew from atop Waya Bald starting from the right. That's John, Jeff, Brandon, Rob, Ben, and me. colors with the blue up against the uh, oranges and yellows. Incredible. Having a good day. Day uh, two on the Appalachian Trail. We uh, swim by a little spot. Lick Log Campground which we just bypassed, we just rested a few minutes. Now we continue on, on the trail. Um, probably another four miles or so in our plans today. So it's, um, it's warmed up a good bit from last night. Right now it's, I don't know, 60s, mid 60s. Um, and sunny, 
totally different than conditions we had just a few hours ago where it was about 30 degrees at night. Um, sun made a big difference and lower elevation. So having a good time and uh, we'll check in later. For those not familiar, coming upon the markings of the Appalachian Trail. It's a white, they call it a blaze. So you just look for these white markers that appear along the way on trees, kind of keep you on path. And um, so you know where you're headed whenever you have any questions about it. Look at this view though right now. Whoa, it's a good downhill. I want to slip on that. Look at the size of this tree. Have to go cutouts. Great, great hiking. Look at this stuff. So if you look, I don't know if it zooms in very well, but way up at the top, there's something just kind of reflective or shiny. That's a Waya or Waya uh, fire tower outlook. We came down this, it followed the ridge line all the way down, and it goes into the back side of this mountain right here, and we switched back all the way back up and then came down through this part over here. Awesome. So here we are. Yeah. So that was John giving good uh, directions and guidance on what we've been. John's um, many generations back, Cherokee Indian. His people have uh, run this land a good bit. Actually, that's not true at all, but it sounded good. He did give a good presentation, but actually John is the one who uh, did a lot of the logistics, the logistics and the planning to get this set up. So. Uh, he did a great job for this trip, as well as all the other guys out here on the Appalachian Trail. It's been a good trip so far. Just have a little ways to go, but um, kind of got a part of this trip, trip through a friend I've known for many years. Through I met through another friend actually many years back. Um, had this trip coming up with some guys that they've done quite a few years, um, and they let me join. So I'm so happy to be out here. It's great to be back on the Appalachian Trail. I really haven't done an overnight camp since 1981 when I went out with my uncle when I was uh, a lot younger. So it's kind of cool. It's a different part of the trail and it's so awesome just to be out here. It's just as much fun as it was when I was a teenager. It's so awesome. share this beautiful sunrise from the cold spring shelter in the Appalachian Mountains. Morning. It's uh, Sunday morning on the Appalachian Trail. You can see the sun is just rising up over my right shoulder. It's a beautiful morning. Um, today's our last day. We're going to just get in about four miles or so and uh, back to the cars and we'll be shuttled down to the other car and um, off and back to reality. So it's a good last morning. Wake up and see this. It's pretty incredible. Not a bad view. Pretty little stretch of the trail. Beautiful out here, open a little bit. Look at this. Look at the birds. In fact, again, there's a hiker coming through today. Look at this view. Unbelievable. Look at the light, the colors. Wow.
And here we are, once again, walking. Look at this. Man, beautiful flowers. What a day, what a day, what a trip. All right, I see something that is very encouraging. So good sign that says we're at Metallico Gap. This is where we're ending our trip. We are coming upon the end where well, we're going to stop anyway at the Teleco Gap. Um, really looking forward to that. We've been doing a lot of downhills and uphills over the last couple of days. My legs are uh, getting a little shaky. Um, I'm getting a few of these last little steps down. But um, man, it's just been a great adventure, great trip. It's been so nice. Good, good, uh, good time to hang out by the fire and. Uh, enjoy other people's company it's really been fun so i'm so glad that, um, i was able to do this I spent a lot of years since i was on the appalachian trail as far as camping so so excited to be here and enjoy all of this the end of the trail down at the bottom i see a parking lot i understand there's cold drinks there man my legs are shaking they are fatigued we're done nice cold beer to finish it there. This is where we started a couple days ago and back to where we started. We had a little ride down. Now we're fin all finished up. Ah, look at that. The distance. Wow. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks so much for joining this Appalachian Trail adventure. Um, really appreciate you watching and don't forget you can also check out other videos of other ventures at www.vegetarian.com. If you like it, please like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel and also the other social media outlets from Instagram, Twitter. Um, please check us out and like those as well. So hope you have a great day and find your venture.